How does it feel to be here celebrating your third O'Brien win uh, for Breeder of the Year? Uh, it's exciting. It's overwhelming. We're very excited. It sort of caps off an excellent year we had this past year. So we hope to do it again in the near future. So. And how would you sum up the 2018 season for Steelster Farm? Uh, very good. I think we had a consistent year in the OSS. Had some grand circuit luck as well. Had a nice yearling sale again. So I think overall it was a success from start to finish. And you've had a big year, as you mentioned, with success for O'Brien finalists, uh, Nirvana Sealster, Bronx Sealster. What were some of your favorite moments watching the horses that you've bred on track? You know, I think Nirvana is just an iron horse. He's, you know, started right at the bottom and worked his way to the top. So to see the longevity of his career has been great. Uh, Bronx Sealster was a nice horse to watch. The Battle of Waterloo, uh, his OSS gold victories. Uh, Kendall Sealster was an exciting horse to watch for us this year in the three -year or past year for three-year-old Philly Pacers and watching her come up into the aged mare ranks right now. So overall, it was it was excellent. So. And can you share an update on what's happening at the farm? Are there any new foals, any new stallions, new team members? Yes, we have two new additions to our stallion ranks this year. Uh, looks like a Chippendale on the trotting side and all bets off on the pacing side. So we're excited to have both of them. Uh, foaling season has just started. We have four on the ground right now uh, and a bunch of mares that are just at due date or past due date. So the next few weeks they're going to start getting busy and then uh, in a week and a half we'll start breeding season. So yeah, so it's busy. So. Well, congratulations and best of luck going forward. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.